Welcome back to another house tour. It's Barry and Jordan here of the Brownstone Boys. And today we are taking you inside our latest renovation project that we call Broadway Reno. Believe it or not, we are not in <laughs> Brooklyn. We are in the heart of Manhattan here in gorgeous Union Square. This project was an eight month project. It's a collaboration between John Powell Architecture and Black Square Builders. And it is a huge Manhattan loft. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, an office, and it's super open concept. We can't wait to show you. Let's head inside Broadway Reno. Hey guys, so we're here at Broadway Reno and we want to give you the update. We just started demo about four weeks ago. We have full crews here. The progress is just incredible. Let's take a look around and show you what's going on. So welcome to Broadway Reno. So this is a beautiful loft apartment right in the heart of Union Square in New York City. And this loft apartment has been such a transformation. It was kind of like, picture like a bachelor pad. It had this like heavy wood, mahogany. There was lots of exposed brick. So we knew we really had to transform the space into something adapting to a family lifestyle. Before, I think there was just really one full technical bedroom. Mm -hmm. And we had to transform it into a place where they can get three bedrooms in, two baths, and now we have it all inside this gorgeous space. And an office space. It's nice, it's light, it's bright and there's so many details that we're dying to show you. So let's just start right where we are. This is the living dining room area. Starting with the hardwood floors throughout, they come from pit floors and we just love working with pit floors. These are engineered wood. This tone is absolutely stunning. It's a similar tone to a white oak, but it has this white wash to it. We have these gorgeous windows. We are in a historic landmark district in New York City and that was one of the bigger expenses on the project was changing out the windows. We we worked with Glamour Decorating on these window shades here, and it is just such a fun thing. If I was a kid, <laughs> if they adopted me, I would constantly be playing with those blinds. Above the dining room table is by far one of my favorite light fixtures in the whole house, and that is a bocce pendant from Lightology. What I love about this light is that it looks like these floating orbs or floating clouds. Because it's a really big open space, the ceilings are very high, it makes it feel like its own intimate area. So one of the things that is really unique about this building is that when it was originally built, it was an industrial building. It was used for manufacturing. You still see little glimpses of that when you look around. So when you walk through into the apartment, you see the old industrial elevator door. Another really industrial feature that you'll see are the columns. We did simplify them. They were a lot more ornate and kind of a little bit weird looking when we started. So we made them very simple, very modern, and very sleek. At the end of the living room over here, we have one of my ideal favorite spaces, and that is the office study. To tie in what Barry was talking a bit about, about that industrial look, we added this floor to ceiling steel and glass door. It is a true statement piece, and when the store is closed, it's just absolutely stunning, and it kind of segues into that look and feel of the elevator when you walk into the house. And behind it is one of the most colorful rooms with this bright, beautiful blue couch and the dark, sleek gray walls. So you see the custom millwork as soon as you walk in and all of the shelves. You have the wall molding that really gives it that sort of traditional feel yep. in a space that is otherwise very modern. Let's just take you inside this powder room. This is Jordan to a T because it is full of bright, beautiful color. And folks, this wallpaper came from a favorite, a company called Flavor Paper. This is some of the brightest wallpaper we have laid eyes on. <laughs> if you have, are not familiar with Flavor Paper, we highly suggest taking a look at them. They even have a scratch and sniff wallpaper, <laughs> which in my book is just incredible. Why not? And the sink is really nice too. This is a concrete sink from True Form Concrete and it's custom fit to fit perfectly into the powder room so it goes from wall to wall. Yeah. If you look at this wall that's above the sink, it's a mirror from wall to wall and from the top of the sink all the way to the ceiling. It reflects that, that wallpaper and it makes it just elongate the space and it yeah. makes it even brighter. So it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So 
so past the living and dining area, we have one of the most beautiful open kitchens. So we have the most beautiful custom cabinetry throughout this entire kitchen. It's a really beautiful shade that is a little bit of a gray tone and it just looks gorgeous with the hardwood floors. And let's talk about these countertops. These are from Bass Stone. This is a quartzite and it's this beautiful shade of green. It's got these rusty tones in it and it almost has like a leathery kind of look and feel to it. And all of the lighting throughout this apartment are from Lightology. And Lightology is one of the best places to go if you're looking for a true statement piece. They also have the subtler pieces, but this home was craving for some spark and some joy. And I think that it came really nicely together with these mm -hmm. lights. Well, let's move deeper into this kitchen and check out the rest of it. So we have these gorgeous counters wrapping up the backsplash. All of the appliances are, are from Gagano. So we have an induction cooktop, we have a wall oven, we have a warming drawer, and we have a coffee system. Shall I this. mean, a, a, another wall oven. They're really set up here with appliances. Yeah, so the integrated fridge and freezer is also just gorgeous. And this has some hardware from the Buster and Punch. Really love the length on this and the sturdiness as well. It's important if you get the integrated with the panel, you wanna get something pretty hefty and this Buster and Punch is solid. So a little past the kitchen is an area that we call the den. Over here we have on the left-hand side, again, that custom mill work floor to ceiling. We have a desk office area over here if the kids wanted to do the homework. And that all has a secret hidden door right over here that leads to the laundry room. And then right here, we have a really cute little bathroom. This is the kids' bathroom. It's classic on the floor. We have the marble penny tiles. We have kind of an oversized subway tile that's stacked uh, vertically on the walls. And all of the tile is from Acto. And so we have the uh, two kids' rooms right here on the right. They're really beautiful little rooms. They have built-in closets, built-in desks. They have tons of light and city views. What more can a kid ask for? <laughs> And at the end of the den is one of my favorite spaces, the primary suite. This is such a warm and welcoming room. And check out all of this storage. We have floor to ceiling, custom millwork with LED lighting strips that come on when you open the doors. And I love even the tall storage that's way at the top. It's hard to reach, so it's not like you're gonna put your clothes in there you use every day. Yep. But think about your luggage, your big bags that you pull down every couple of months or so that can be tucked away up top. Last favorite feature in this bedroom is the stunning fixture above me. And this is the puppet ring chandelier from Lightology as well. So in this corner of the bathroom is the vanity. And this is a fully custom vanity. It's really beautiful. It matches the rest of the millwork throughout the house with these integrated poles. Um, we have a piece of soapstone on the top that's really gorgeous. And we have these really beautiful well-mounted faucets from Watermark. It's the gunmetal finish, so it goes really nice with the soapstone. And if you look at these vanity mirrors, these are custom mirrors. They're super, super tall. We have very high ceilings here, and so we wanted to fill this space and not have a puny little mirror in a room that has such high ceilings. So there's also tons of storage in there. And speaking of storage, behind me is the last little hidden secret in this house, but this is also another walk-in closet. This is just a perfect dream size closet in New York City. <laughs> All the tile in this bathroom and throughout the entire house is from Acto. And this tile is gorgeous. This is the Turkish gray. Overall, the gray tone really grounds the space. And then we have the, the lighter and glossier tile on the wall. This is just a stacked three by nine tile and it, it also has some movement in it. It's not a very flat tile, so it gives you that texture up on the walls as well. And this is the standing shower, beautiful shower that has a steam shower included. I love the overhead rainfall shower here. It's nice and oversized. And we have the same Turkish gray tile on the floor from Acto in the shower and on the ceiling.
We hope you guys liked this house tour. It was definitely a fun project and it was a team effort. So thank you to John and Emily from John Powell Architecture, to Jim and Pavel from Black Square Builders, and of course, the homeowners for letting us take over their house today. Yeah, we really hope you guys loved this video. If you did, do us a favor, make sure you like it, share it with a couple of friends, and you want to subscribe to our channel. Trust me on this because <laughs> we have so many more house tours coming up. We actually got to get back to Brooklyn now. Bye everyone. Bye.